but a lot of us love our mother too much to the point where we let the way she thought, you know, interfere with the influence the way we think and act in current society. We let what our mothers think, say, and do affect the way we act in this current society. And like I said, we are competing with the patriarchal structure. So mama don't know what's best when it comes to competing with other men. You know what I'm saying? And we let this, uh, mamas tell us, yo, go find a nice girl, give all your resources to, you know, paraphrasing, go find a nice girl, have babies, go to college, get all this debt and have good jobs. Mama's usually steering you in the path away from competing. And black men, we love our mother so much that we listen to everything she says. We take everything she says as, as the word of God, even though she's lying a lot of the times. You know, we, we, mama could do no wrong. And that's because our love is so deep. And like I said, I think part of that is in our DNA, being the matriarchal type people. But we need to fight that so that we can get out here and do something. Because listening to mama and letting your love, because, you know, they got they got in science, they say that being in love halts your productivity, you know. Yes. So that has to, I mean, that it would make sense that, that having a love from your mother can also interfere with your your ability to compete as well. You know, we, you know, I think that's a, a fair correlation to draw. So, you know, we we got to be aware of of of, our, of how we are as people, so that we can adapt to this current situation. Us as black men, our downfall is that we're not getting out to this economy and competing like men are supposed to do. That's our downfall. The okay. woman's downfall is that they can't control their womb and they got behavior problems. Okay, we got two okay. different issues. All right? right, but here's the thing. Here's the, here's the thing. See, that's why I don't like even arguing with women. Because, because you see, the white man has everything that this world has to offer, but yet these white females are still coming up with feminism. It doesn't matter what the power, much power the man has. The woman has to make a conscious decision to not be fuck up. Just like we got to make a conscious decision, mm -hmm. they got to make a conscious decision as well. Because if no matter how much power we get, if they don't want to act right, they're not going to act right. Because this prime example, like I said, the white men, they have the whole world by the balls. But mm -hmm. this white woman still finds something to complain about. Yeah. <laughs> why is she complaining? Like, bitch, why are you complaining? You have the most powerful man in the world on your side. So I'm not, that's why I don't, that's why that argument is, is, is moot. That's why that, that doesn't make sense. Fix your problem. Us as black men, we're going to try to fix our problem. That's what I teach on my channel. Because I don't talk about a, a woman accountability. I don't, at the end of the day, women got to fix that problem. They got to fix their own shit. Hmm. Uh, the other cultures, well, like they are more patriarchal than uh, black people by far. They usually have a, uh, not saying that the women are that much better. I'm just saying that they're usually more submissive and they understand the necessity of a strong uh a man in the household to one tame the children and to bring in resources they have a, a, a understanding of the natural need for patriarchy that's what keeps them going so they understand that's why uh asians are surpassing even whites in wealth because i mean that's what they're doing that they're, they're literally passing this stuff down to their children especially to the sons you know that's not a over this then they're not praising the woman uh so much in these other cultures they're not putting the woman on a pedestal or, you know woman the black woman is god uh you know things like they're not doing that type of stuff in other cultures the other cultures they're focused on power and resources not putting the female on the pedestal mm -hmm. not amassing all this wealth so that we can give it away to mama you know they're not so we can give our paycheck to our wife and let the wife handle the, they're not doing that type of stuff you know in the black community it's like give the wife it's like this thing where you 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 work get a wife your paycheck you know, she handles all the bills and the finances, which is the silliest thing I ever heard. But hmm. this, we do operate like that. You know, and uh, unfortunately, it, it, it shows in our results. It's mm -hmm. just because women aren't built to do this. You know, women aren't built to go out here and actually and build things. All right, this is the stuff of a man's job, but men are supposed to learn this from other men. All right, but mm -hmm. she doesn't understand this. You know, the women don't, they would, or they act like they don't understand this. So they think that they're raising a man when they're doing this type of stuff. And, and us as men, we just, like I said, it's in our DNA. We love our mother so much. We start to take what she tells us as the word of God, literally. And this is one of the biggest things slowing us down and competing in society because a lot of us love our mothers too much. And we, we take the way that she raised us and we base the whole lifestyle. Another thing too. And I don't mean to offend anybody, you know, including you, O'Shea. But another uh, another thing yeah, too right. is this religion. Uh, the black mothers are the ones usually pushing their children to the religion. Now I'm not going to get up here and say, <laughs> and say what I say on my channel about it, but I'm saying 
a lot of part of religion, first of all, religion was used as a mind control. And a lot of part of religion is based in being docile. You know, now I know there's parts about religion that says to be a warrior and things like that. But that religion coming from the female perspective, because we mm -hmm. know the church is, what, 75% females or something. So that religious perspective coming from the uh, perspective of a female that affects us as children too, as well, especially as black children growing up. It teaches us to be, be more docile, you know, turn the other cheek, things like that, pray, and you don't have to put in no work, you know, things like that. You know, you can do whatever you want, just ask for forgiveness, things like that that are stuck in our mind that are not in tune with reality. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not gonna really help us get to the next level. They don't understand that, they, that those men are coming from one, they're bad mating choices, okay? Two, their decisions to have babies in poverty, the conscious decision. Because yes, it takes mm -hmm. two to have sex, but it takes one to give birth. I don't understand why we can't understand that. All right. Okay. So, uh, so yes, they're creating the same men that they're complaining about, and they're not, and they act like they're not a part of it. And, the, and it's crazy, they act like they're not a part of it, and niggas act like it too. You know, oh. we're, scared, we're scared to we're scared to hold them accountable because we love our mothers too much. So, so we're scared to say, why did you have us in poverty, mother? You know, we're scared to like, yo, hold her accountable for her bad decisions. And it was a clear example of the last stream I was on. Okay. There's something called my body, my choice. All right. Okay. The only two way street is the sex. That's the two way street. Okay. But legally speaking, all right, this is the law. Now you have no control over whether a baby's born or not as a man. This is from the perspective of the law. Now they they passing out these abortion laws and things like that, but they can always go to another state and do that. Currently in the United States, the the birth rights, you know, the right to, to birth to birth children are in the hands of the woman. That's not your decision, dog. That's a one-way street. So uh, unless until these women start taking on arranged marriages, which they never would do. You know what I'm saying? But until they start giving that responsibility to men who are in a uh, authority position, which is what they should be doing, because they don't know how to choose these mates. Mm -hmm. Until they do that, while they choose who they let inside of them, they are responsible for their wounds. They are responsible.